We've all known Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record of 38,387 points to be thought of as one of the most unbreakable records in NBA history. It's a record that past players like Karl Malone, Kobe Bryant, and even Michael Jordan haven't been able to touch. But there still are a couple players in the league today that have a real chance at breaking that record one day. And we're going to get into them in a little bit, but before that, let's look how crazy this record really is. Kareem wasn't one of the guys that came into the league straight out of high school, and he didn't get started in the NBA until he was 22. But right when he got there, in his first three seasons, he put up 28, 31, and 34 point per game seasons. And then he followed that up by averaging 24 points a game for his career until he retired when he was 41 years old. Now I'm not saying Kareem was throwing up 24 a game at 41, but he was up until he was 38, and then he averaged 14 points a game for his last three seasons. Now just to put that into perspective, on how tough it'd be, you look at Dwayne Wade right now, who's only 36 and is only averaging 13 a game so far this season. Or Dirk Nowitzki who averaged 14 a game when he was 38. Or even Vince Carter who only averaged 5 points a game in the season that he was 38 years old. And that's all not to mention, those guys would have had to have never gotten injured their entire career, which already takes the three of them out of the equation. Now to put that in perspective, in his 20 year career, Kareem only had two seasons where he played under 74 games, and in those two seasons he still played 62 and 65 games. Which led to him playing the second most games in NBA history at 1,560. Now that we see what kind of record we're dealing with, let's look at some of these players that retired within a few thousand of the record and see just how close or not they were to passing it. Let's look at a guy like Wilt Chamberlain who finished a little under 7,000 points off the record with 31,419 points for his career. The man averaged nearly an NBA record 30 points a game for his entire career but only played 15 seasons in a total of 1,045 games. We know that he was one of the most dominant players in history and had 9 seasons where he averaged over 30 a game, including his 50 point season. But Wilt dealt with a few knee injuries throughout his career and retired at 36 years old because he felt he had done everything basketball had to offer. And in his last couple of seasons, he was really only putting up under 15 points a game anyways, so at that pace, he would have had to play for another 5.5 years to even tie the record. But then let's look at a guy like Kobe Bryant, who for a while looked like he had one of the biggest chances to break that record. Because he came into the league 4 years sooner than Kareem did at 18 years old. He averaged 25 points a game for his career and played for 20 seasons. And that right there sounds like he should have beaten the record, but he finished his career playing a little over 200 games less than Jabbar did. Because he only played 6 games in 2013 because of that Achilles tear, and then 35 games the next season. Which put Kobe with 11 seasons where he played under 74 games instead of only 2 like Kareem had. Now Kobe actually was on track to break the all time scoring record. Because by the time they were both 34, Kareem had scored 28,088 points and Kobe had already scored 31,617. But like I said, he started sooner and his body wasn't able to hold up as long as Kareem's did, which takes him out of the equation. And then there's a guy like Karl Malone, who we all know is second on the all-time scoring list, but you might not realize just how close he was to this record. He was only 1,459 points away from it. And by the time Malone was 34, he had only ever missed 5 NBA games in his career. That means the man played 1,061 out of 1,066 possible games, and averaged over 27 points a game through that stretch. Which meant that by 34 years old, he had put up 27,728 points. But that was still no match for Kareem, who had averaged 27.7 a game by the time he was 34 and put up 300 more total points than Malone did. Which shows that really no matter how good a player is, if they came into the league at the same age as Kareem did at 22, then they really have no chance. And the only way someone will ever break that record is if they came into the league younger than 20 years old and started playing like a star right away. Now who might that be? Don't worry, we'll get there. But as for Carl, he only played half of two seasons because of injuries and then retired a year earlier than Kareem. Which meant Kareem played about 100 more games than Carl, which is why he never broke the record. 
Now I did just say we have to look for players who came into the league before 20 years old, but the one exception to that rule would be Michael Jordan. Mike finished his career with 32,292 points and has the highest career points per game in NBA history with 30.1, but he only played 15 seasons. MJ was doing everything right to beat the record. He came into the league at 21, a year earlier than Kareem. He only had one major injury in his sophomore season and was putting up some of the best scoring numbers in a long time. But retiring the first time and missing the entire 1993 season and more than half of the 94 season really set him back. But even then, by the time he was 34 years old, he had 29,277 points, which was over a thousand more points than Kareem had at that time. But then Jordan retired for the second time later that year. If he would have never retired the first time, and then even played one more season, instead of retiring for the second time, and played at that same pace, he actually would have broken the all-time scoring record easily. But Jordan did need to get away the first time, and the Bulls front office were planning on rebuilding, which is why he retired the second time. So that's why Jordan could have, but never beat the record. But now that we've seen just how close some of the players from the past came, let's look at where some of today's players rank in comparison to Kareem and what they'd have to do to come anywhere near the record. Let's start by looking at Steph Curry. I mean, Kareem only scored twos, and Curry's the king of threes, so it would make sense for someone to think it was sorta of close, right? No, not at all. Steph didn't come into the league until he was 21, and last season, he finished his ninth year in the league with 14,434 career points. So he's still less than halfway to the record, and he's already 30 years old. Sure, he's in his prime right now and looking better than ever before, so he's going to be getting a ton of his career points over the next couple of years. And the man should honestly be able to put up big numbers for a very long time, because even after he gets old, he'll always be able to shoot. But with all that being said, even if he does keep up the same pace he did for his first 9 seasons, to pass Kareem, he'll have to continue that pace for the next 23 years. So Curry's out. But then we have Carmelo Anthony, who came into the league at 19 and is one of the all-time great NBA scorers. He's averaged 24 a game for his career so far and is only 34, so all that puts him on the right track. But since he's going to be a certified 6 man now, at least when the Rockets are healthy, it's looking more like he's going to be averaging 15 points a game now. So there's no way that he's ever going to be able to catch Kareem, so he's out too. But then let's look at a guy like Kevin Durant who's quickly becoming known by many as the greatest scorer in NBA history. He came into the league at 19, so he's got that three-year edge over Kareem. And at this point, KD has over 21,000 total points scored and is averaging 27 points a game. Now, after his season at 29 years old, Jabbar was averaging 28 points a game, but because of that three-year gap, Kareem had only scored 18,000 points. Which means that right now, KD is on pace to beat the record by a pretty good margin. So it actually does look like his chances are good, but that is until you look at the fact that KD is going to have to keep playing at a high level and stay healthy until he's 39 years old. He's 30 right now, so to become the all-time leading scorer, he would have to play at least 70 games for the next 9 seasons and still average 27 points a game until he's 39. That means no injuries and no slowing down because of age. But because of his height and his long arms, it is going to be interesting to see how much Durant can still use that to his advantage and how many points a game he's going to be able to score when he gets older. So overall, there are a few people that could or could have come close to breaking the all-time scoring record. The guy that truly looks like he is going to break Kareem's all-time scoring record. LeBron James. So let's look at LeBron. Like KD, he got into the league at 19, so he's got that three-year head start. And right now at the making of this video, James has 31,202 points scored. So he's only off the record by 7,185. And LBJ has been averaging 74 games a season, averaging 27.5 points a game since his second year in the league when he was 20 years old. He's never suffered any major injuries and he doesn't look like he'll be slowing down anytime soon because so far this season he's still averaging 27 a game. 
and LeBron has made it clear that his goal is to play a game in the NBA with LeBron James Jr. Which would mean that if everything goes right, that would be in the 2023 and 24 season. And that's still 6 seasons away. Which would make him 39 years old at that point. But to be honest, most of that time would be extra. Because if he keeps putting up these numbers and averaging 27 a game, LeBron's actually on pace to break the record right when his current contract's up at the end of the 2022 season. Now let's say an injury even happens to LeBron, or he just slows down in general like any normal human being would. If he still averages at least 21 a game on 74 games a season from here on out, he'll still break the record by the end of the 2023 season. One season before he's able to team up with LeBron Jr. Now it's insane that LeBron is still only 34, and even if his stats do drop, like most players do around that point in their career, the record still seems like a lock by the time he's 39 at the late and then everything on top of that will make his new record that much more unattainable and that much further away for a guy like Kevin Durant to be. Now honestly I didn't realize James was so close but now that I do I think he's 100% gonna break the record by the time his career is over. And there's not too much to argue about these numbers unless you think the man's gonna retire early or has a career ending injury before then. About there being a Pretty high chance that this record comes to an end, and if you think KD can even beat the new record one day. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.